Okay, I'm going to do a quick video here on idle adjustment and carburetor adjustment. Basically, uh, the carb functions on a Daihatsu Hijet uh, uh, S83P. So, anyway, let's start with pointing out various adjustments. Okay, this is the idle air control. This will smooth out the idle once you're uh, once you've got the idle speed set. So, the idle speed is set with this big screw here. You can actually use your fingers to turn it. Mine are quite dirty right now, as you can see. You can use your fingers to turn it, and that will, once the engine's warmed up, that's what uh, you'll adjust your idle with. When the engine is cold, when the engine is cold and the choke's on and it's revving high, you will use this. This is your high idle adjustment. This should only be used to adjust the speed that the idle is going to be at when it's cold and revving high. When it drops down to normal idle, then you will use this knob to control the idle speed. And then finally, you will smooth it out with the uh, idle air mixture screw. Choke, which is, seems to be a big problem for a lot of people. Um, once you've checked everything else in your choke and make sure it's working, you can see there's a an adjustment. There's a an Allen, or sorry, a Phillips head screw right here, and you can turn it in and out, and that will adjust your choke flap opening. But you'll have to take off your uh, your air cleaner hose to get to that. Now, what happens a lot of the time? Mine, I I lube this thing two three times a year, and it still sticks. And you should be able to push. I don't know if you can see it properly here. I'm going to try and get a little closer. You see how the white toothed wheel here on the choke lever, on the choke shaft, is moving. That should move freely against the spring. And then this will adjust, uh, the Phillips screw will adjust how far in and out the choke flap goes. And as I said, you adjust that when it's, um, when the engine's cold, adjust that so the flap is almost... Uh, shut, start the engine, watch and make sure that it actually comes uh, as the engine warms up. The, um, uh, the wax pellet will heat up and pull up the choke and this, the uh, um, vacuum operated choke will also pull up on it. Um, but anyway, you got to make sure everything in here is lubed up. Uh, they hate being sticky, they hate being under the engine and getting all of our nice salt and crap all over them. And they get all sticky. So that's probably a lot of people's problem is that their choke flap is just stuck. This should move freely, should spin, the little wheel should spin. Um, this is the throttle stop. You don't really need to adjust it, but if you need, if you find the throttle is everything else with, if I can get, there we go. With everything else adjusted, if nothing else is working to lower your idle, Unscrew this all the way, allows the throttle butterfly to close completely, and then you will turn it just until it barely touches the stop and the tiniest bit more, maybe a millimeter more, and you should be set basically for the for your beginning adjustments anyway to start off. So if you were actually going to adjust a cold carburetor, first thing you would do is remove uh, your air intake so you can see the position the choke's at. If the choke is not closed. Um, when you turn the key on, don't try to start the truck, truck, turn the key on, see where the choke is. If the choke isn't closed, start off by lubing this up and making sure this is all free and the choke is opening up. And then to close the choke, wrong screwdriver again, a little tiny one. To close the choke, you will actually tighten this Phillips head screw to close the choke. Uh, once that's done, start the truck and then your idle will be your high idle speed you will adjust here with the the back screw, the second screw here, the smaller one. You'll turn that in until the high idle speed is around 2,000. Eh, 2,500 maybe, but I like it around 2,000. I don't like it screaming when it's cold. And once the uh, once the truck warms up and the idle drops, you will then use the idle speed screw, the big one big one that you can actually just turn with your fingers. Most of them you can turn, they should be able to be turned with your fingers. You shouldn't even really need a, a screwdriver other than for the choke. Um, so once it's it's warmed up, you adjust your regular idle speed with this screw. 
and then to smooth everything out and just get it nice, a nice smooth non-lumpy idle uh, you adjust the the air bypass and that is only for adjusting at idle that has nothing to do with higher speeds um, after high speed after uh, idle uh, this has no effect on ab and on anything whatsoever and that is assuming that all your vacuum lines and everything are in order so uh, that's all I can think of for now